to death. <laughs> Goodbye, paint. There's no, uh, there's no like, is there a fish on? Yeah. It's no guessing. No, it's usually pretty uh, good. Just the herring, the herring chapstick. Herring chapstick. I should have picked up some of that chapstick. I like the herring gel. John hasn't made any herring gel in a while. And I really want him to. I, I just like the gels better. Yeah, that stuff is uh, sticky. It, it starts to fall off in the summertime when the water gets warm. Oh, and it's a little warm, yeah. Um, so yeah, the water warms up. The wiggle warts. My dad's a good friend that taught us how to do this one day called 3060. Off of it, finally retired it. I can't catch one on it, but hopefully, maybe today's the day. There's a day. This water being dirty, I'm just thinking we might need to go a little, a little bit brighter. brighter color. Yeah, this water's usually really clear, surprisingly. This river's cleaned up a lot um, since I was fishing as a kid. I've been coming down here since '97, I think. Uh, two years after I was born. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I brought my, my one sponsor down here from Illinois. He yeah. does a lot of my custom bait. And he's never done it before. He's like, dude, I want to steal fish. So I come down. So we spent the weekend down here. We stayed at a hotel or whatever. It was close by. And uh, I brought him down here on, I think it was a Thursday. Thursday afternoon we came down because it took a Friday off. So we fished Thursday afternoon, Friday, Saturday, and half a day Sunday. And, uh, you know, I, I, we got lucky when we sat up, we sat up by that drainage tube and I said, all right, this is kind of breaking everything down. And I didn't even get done explaining how everything was going to work in one just freaking break. Smashed it. So he's like, man, those fish are fast. So then by like Friday afternoon, I'm like, I'm standing up front driving and he's back here by the rods. I'm like, you can go ahead and run the rods you want. I'm like, we caught a bunch of fish. If you want to hook them in real minutes, it's all you. <laughs> so <clears throat> I'm standing back there and he's standing right here and all of a sudden the rod starts moving. And that rod is just getting clamped. Like, he like fish, fish. He's like, and what? it was gone. No. It was, how did that fish hit so fast? I'm like, dude, these things got moves. And then there was one time that I haven't, I think I, I think it posted. I'm down here messing with something, and all of a sudden I hear the drag rip, and he's standing right here, and this rod is just hammering. And I go to reach for it, and there's a rod. No. And he likes, like, how? I'm like, it's amazing how they don't even get, there's so many trouble hooks <clears throat> on there, and it's like, they just get around it. So I think I'm about to call them stupid. I'm assuming you definitely know when they're on. Well, I'll go like that rod, right? Because this, what it'll do is this thing will do this. It'll, oh, it'll okay. shift on you right yeah that's not by design that's by total accident <laughs> so if you're standing here looking at this and all of a sudden this one's a screen, that rod's going on that, yeah that's actually kind of nice so. <laughs> that's by design Patton. yeah because mike helped me build this thing <laughs> you know and you want you to do that. yeah it actually it's a little bit of give it's not so solid um these ones are right because these ones go down mm -hmm. i i kind of like it because it's easy to tell when there's a fish because sometimes they won't hit the drag they'll just hit it and they'll just hit the rod will go down, but they won't pull any drag. One of our sponsors makes a lot of ice fishing stuff. Hey, look at that. Shoot, I did not get that. Yeah. Yeah. That quick. I guess that'll get hard pump. <laughs> Okay. Get another one within 15% of battery. <laughs> I gotta change battery soon. I swear if I change battery, it's gonna happen though. Come on. I think I'm 
Yep. There we go. Heck yeah. Beauty. Nice. Boy, he choked that thing too. Yeah, the curse is unbroken. Yeah. Hey, first we fish go. in the ball, no skunk. Skunk saw the box. <laughs> Mike's very first, uh, we're, we're steel division, but that's kind of a weird looking steelhead. That is a beautiful. Yeah, we'll get some pictures of him. They turn brown this time of year, don't you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here. Yeah, the steel's a little rusty. A little rusty. <laughs> I like that. Got yeah, some pictures for you. You want the lure in his mouth or not? Oh, no, it's all right. Yeah, it's a nice one. It's the biggest one I've seen come out of here in a while. Yeah, he hit and I'm like, why ain't he it jumping really hard? Different. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, why isn't he? Well, he wasn't He's still on. got some amazing colors. This time of year. Come right out. Okay, here we go. Thank you. Hello, buddy. <laughs> What do you know? Cool, man. That's probably like a one and a half. Sweet. Cool, man. Got a little. Looks like he probably got hit. Yeah, by something. I don't know. That looks like a claw mark. Nice small There's one. There's another one right there too. There, you're, you, is that your first bass for the year? Yeah, this is my first bass for the <laughs> year. That's fish. amazing. <laughs> Just realize that. We'll get him back in the water though. He's been out for quite a while. They're tough. But... Let's see if I can't do something here. Oh, nope. We'll just put him back. Come on now, come back to life. It's like, that water's cold, man. <laughs> man, so a uh, smallmouth will hit. This time of year. <laughs> That's surprising. I like that. Heck yeah. Can't say I'm mad. This is entertainment. But I won't 